Welcome to Soccer Works with Daniel Workman, where we take a brief look at how soccer works in the U.S. and around the world. Three, two, one. On episode 70, we look at how to close the gap between U.S. soccer and the rest of the world. U.S. soccer is not a top footballing country in the world. It is not a top soccer country globally. We have the greatest sports economy on earth, and yet our U.S. soccer system lacks. It fails. It falls way behind uh, its counterparts in the global game. It's not even close. Our franchises are not keeping up with independent clubs around the world. Our players and player development is not keeping up with the rest of the world. People are looking at some of our young players with the national team and are getting giddy and thinking, oh, we're turning the corner. The truth is, is that the gap between U.S. soccer and your top soccer countries in the world is not only wide, it's getting wider. The gap is growing. And the reason why it's growing is, is, is that we are continuing to do what we've been doing with minimal incremental changes while the rest of the world is adapting. They're growing. They are experimenting. Why? Because it is an open system. They're free to do so. If we want to get to that status, to, to reach that level, the fastest way to close that gap is incentivize everyone to join one system. Thanks for listening. Until next time.